Hey everybody, welcome back to the Highland Fox. For our American viewers, happy 4th of July weekend. Um, British viewers might not be as excited, but for America, it's one of my favorite holidays. Um, speaking of which, it is the British Grand Prix, which I thought was funny. Um, and it was a banger of a race. Yes, I don't think I sat down for any of it. No, my calves are hurting. I was jumping so much. <laughs> that was a little stressful, crazy drama. Yeah. But at, from start to finish, I don't think anyone was like, oh, this is boring. Yeah. So I think Silverstone is safe to stay. Stay on the calendar with Monaco yeah. and Spa uh, Jeopardy. Yeah, that yeah. was that was a great race. Yeah. So, so where do you want to start? A lot, um, lot of storylines here yeah, today. Yeah, so I think we kind of start from the beginning. Um, okay. That's basic, a good place to start. Yeah, basically right after uh, Lights Out No Way We Go, huge crash. Huge crash. Um, so Zhao, we saw like a yeet across the ground, <laughs> upside down, flipped over, and got stuck. I was at first. I was like, "Why aren't they showing it? Is he okay?" And then I was like, "Oh, they're not showing it because we don't know." Yeah, which I think. I understand why they didn't show it because, like, if something was actually wrong, like you wouldn't want to see like oh, absolutely. carnage. But like the, le the less they showed it, the more we mm -hmm. thought something was worse. Yes. So. so it was a. If you guys can find it on YouTube, it was a pretty crazy crash. Mm -hmm. um, cannot believe he walked away from it. No, I, like we've come so far in the safety of yeah. the cars. So Zhao's okay. Albon's Albon, okay. Yeah, he got Albon's... bumped. He got hit from a couple different ways. Mm -hmm. So he was bouncing around a little bit. So he was life flighted out. He was life flighted out. But um, he was okay. He was conscious when he got life flighted out. Yeah. It was precautionary. Um, Russell obviously jumped out of the car and made sure Zhao was okay. So yes, he was he fine. Yes, he was fine. Um, <laughs> it was just every, yeah. I mean, everyone got clipped too. So it was just an insane crash. Yeah. A crazy way to start the race. And then... When they restarted, I was very confused. Yeah. So, the, so, well, it's the easy one, right? So, Max passed yeah. Sons right away. So, Max was in first when they red flagged the race. But since it was such a quick red flag and it was such so quickly into the lap, not everyone had crossed the pit lane mm -hmm. exit. So, the race hadn't like really officially yeah. begun. So, they had to go back to the starting grid order. Yeah. So, so Sons was back on pole. Yeah. I was like, what? But this doesn't make sense because Max passed Sons and then Hamilton passed Leclerc. Yep. And like Stroll and Vettel like somehow managed to dodge everyone. So I was like, oh my gosh, yeah. like they're so high up. And then I was like, oh, this is, this is penalizing everyone. But I guess it makes sense if you had someone starting from the pit lane that they wouldn't even been on the track yeah. by the time. So yeah. I was like, uh, okay, yeah. okay, this weird like. Red flag Ooh. rules are always kind of weird, though. Yeah. Yeah. But... But, yeah. So, big takeaway from that is all the drivers are okay. Everyone walked away. Yeah, it's crazy to think that just from Jules Bianchi's death in, what was that, 15? Mm -hmm. That a couple years later, they did introduce the Halo in 18, and I mean, it saved yeah, how many lives since? two people today whose lives were saved from the Halo. Yeah. So, like, I... I I, I, they may it may slow down the car. It may make things more difficult. But like I, I don't know the safety features, yeah. especially me working in the medical field. I'm like, yeah, uh, safety. I think. I mean, saved everything. Hamilton, saved Verstappen, I, saved yeah. Leclerc. So saved Zhao today. Today saved, was definitely yeah. like a little like quick slap. Like hey, hey, remember I'm still useful. Yeah. So but, it, it was insane, crazy way to start this race, and I think yeah. just like from there on, it was like whoa. It was just chaos. So very very exciting race. <laughs> So, the other big takeaway from this race was pretty big. Mm -hmm. it, going from his first pole, Sons, after 150 starts, yep. he got his first victory after 150 starts. This is his first victory. It was his, what, 112th driver ever to, I think so, yeah. to, win, yeah. to win a race. Um, it was like the 40th Ferrari driver to ever win a race. So, he's setting all kinds of records. He's all finally off the list of longest mm -hmm. to get his first race I in. Know. So. That was super exciting. Good for him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I was just, I'm just so happy for him because I feel like once this, you got that win and now it's like, okay, you did it. Now go race. Cause I feel like he does get into his head a lot. Like he's he had some terrible starts, you know? Yeah. Um, so I, yeah, I'm just so happy for Sons. And like, I mean, I could do an entire, I think episode on Ferrari strategies, they this race, but I'll just say yeah. um, they need to they need to talk. I think Leclerc and, and Sons just need to do the strategy. Just tell them how they're going to do it yeah. because they tried to they tried to ruin both they ruined Leclerc's race and then they tried to ruin 
Sans is race. Yeah. But Sans was like, no, bro, I got this. Yeah, they just but, kept taking turns. Like, whoever was doing better, they're like, mm, well, you need to slow down. Yeah. Mm, well. It was such a uh, weird... There's a, no. there's a saying that says, you know, oh, man, that was such a great one. You snatched victory from the jaws of defeat. But I feel like Ferrari's the opposite. They're constantly <laughs> snatching defeat from the jaws of victory. Like, there is no reason Ferrari should not have been a 1-2. With Leclerc starting third, Sons starting first, and Verstappen out of the race. He was yeah, seventh. So, I, like, that should have been an easy one, too, and Ferrari tried everything they could to not win that race. I don't know. They get, they get paid way more than we do to figure this out, but I, I felt like, I don't know, just yeah. some very weird yeah. calls today. And, you know, thankfully, Sons in the end was like, stop, let yeah. me do. But, like... Thankfully, Ferrari's got just awesome drivers that just yeah. can, so, can make it up. Other than Ferrari being... Whatever they are. I don't know. So happy for Sons. Yeah. Like, very yes, happy he got his win. I was happy. I cried. Um, you cried when Ocon got his win. I did. Yeah. Too. Whenever someone new wins, I cried. It's fun. Like, it's so emotional. You, you yeah. do so much to get there. Yeah. So, like, just to see him up on the podium, hear his anthem, I was like, <laughs> yeah. So, no, that was awesome. It was, yeah. It was just so yeah. cool for him. I'm so happy. And then Leclerc went right up to him and congratulated him. Yeah. So that was really even nice if to see. Drive to Survive is like, Friends to enemies. Dun dun. Like, no, no, Netflix. You're lying. Yeah. So, no, I thought that was really impressive. That's my spiel. Yeah. So, yeah. Yay, Sons. And to finish it off, with all of the craziness, we have Nostradamus here, who <laughs> predicted Mick Schumacher's first points, except you said seventh, uh, and he finished eighth. But, holy crap. That was emotional for me growing up as a Schumacher fan. Watching his son score points. Mm -hmm. Like, and then Vettel being so excited. Vettel was the first one to say it. You know, Vettel even, you know, crashed his interview and was like cheering for him in the car. So I think that is, speaking of Sans, right? Sans' first victory, that's his monkey off his back. Mm -hmm. You know, with everything going on with Schumacher, all the, and again, Haas tried to ruin his race like they've done before. <laughs> but Schumacher stayed with it and Mick got his first points mm -hmm. and he's got four points. Yeah, that, that was emotional to watch. Like, I, I, I kind of ugly cried with that one. Um, yeah, like watching it. And like I said, like we were not sit sitting down, pacing, jumping. I ran at one point around the house, like yelling, go Schumacher, go. Like he looked at me. He's like, I haven't heard that in so long. And it was just like, oh my gosh. And just watching him and like that battle at the end with Max. With that Max? Oh. oh. I know Max had a limping car and he wasn't necessarily like, full form max but yeah. it still does show that mick knows how to drive yeah like given the right car i'm mm -hmm. starting to think haas might be more of a problem than mick yes <laughs> <laughs> but what's the highest place lewis finishes in a haas last year 13th all right that's fair but yeah yeah uh, yeah. yeah and then you hear gina his sister over the radio yeah i know and then at the end gina grabbed the champagne was spraying him with it and she's like it's a win for me and while he's doing his interviews it was just i think that's one of the things that i really like about f1 mm -hmm. is like in all those sports like soccer or american football or i guess football f for the european viewers <laughs> is like there's a win or lose that game and then it's like mm -hmm. and sometimes there's upsets but like every single race is its own season yeah. and like someone can get an eighth and it feels like the greatest thing yeah. ever or someone new wins and it's like mm -hmm. this is the greatest season ever mm -hmm. I think it's one of the fun parts. It is, yeah. This was, I mean, this was like such a just fun, unique race, and uh, I don't, and frustrating and, and exciting yes, and yeah, scary. Like I'm gonna have and, to go back and rewatch it now that I'm calm. Not, I was on the verge of puking for most of that race, <laughs> so I want to go back and rewatch it and like take the time to like notice things because like Perez, amazing race yeah. for him, and, going like, from last. To second. To second. And, like, Hamilton had a great race. But, like, I wasn't even focusing on that. There was just so much Action else happening. I thought through. Verstappen at one point DNF'd. I for totally forgot about him. And I was like, oh, crap. Mick's trying to go around him? And is he in the race? Verstappen had a completely broken car. For him to even get seventh is yeah. incredible. Like, there are so many good drivers on, on the mm -hmm. grid right now. It is incredible. Yeah. So, crazy race. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Next week's Austria? Mm-hmm. Yeah. See if we can top it. Oh, God, I hope not. <laughs> I need a break. My chest hurts. All right. Well, tune in next week, guys. Thanks. Leave a comment down below if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. See ya.